okay so now see when when it is a story agile okay agile is more mainly for development jobs when you are developing something there are so many methodologies okay agile kanban waterfall i think we discussed it na some time back what is the difference between waterfall and agile did we discuss yes sir ma okay each one can follow any methodology okay but whatever they follow when it is a development they have some standard steps what is what are them okay someone will get the requirement so requirement gathering okay and story creation let's say this is the first one okay as you are having less experience 2 years 3 years experience you don't be doing this job because you don't have that much maturity to understand the client requirement or framing a story framing a story is not a easy easy part here you have to understand the business understand the customer requirement exactly convert one line requirement to 10 lines development requirements they may tell you okay i want a uh, new field the meaning of new field is blocked when it is blocked checked this should come and also an email should send to uh, someone maybe a customer okay this is just a oral requirement then the person who is creating the story should think that should give the technical design in a way that create a dictionary entry on this table okay two dictionary entry one is blocked one is blocked reason okay and when the blocked is selected make this one as mandatory for this use ua policy and when it is checked submitted on insertion create a business tool to send a to send a email notification so event creation even notification email content also okay so the requ- the perp- the person who is creating the story should needs to think all of them so he need some maturity to create a story so as you are all going with less experience na you no need to concentrate on this one if if someone ask you the question okay did you created a story you can simply say no i will be getting the stories from my scrum master or lead directly then we do the development and perform the uh, development life cycle okay this is fine na till this point all clear please acknowledge ma yes sir hmm. now see here when we are discussing this one what is the next step development so you got the story someone assigned to you and then you do development okay so to do development what you need you need admin access you will be, you all will be admins okay and also what you also need you also needs to create your update sets you create an update set fulfill all the requirement what is there in the story and then what is the other thing you do you also test it in dev instance okay to make sure that everything is properly configured okay then once this phase is done what is the next step testing right or qa so this would be traditionally our team testing so in in the development team only okay one or two people are there they will be doing testing okay so you move the state of the story from development to state equal to draft is there na maybe you will be having development work in progress testing qa uat okay uh, completed ready for production something something the state values will be different different okay so as you completed the development you move the story to uh, testing okay and then from your team one guy will be tested and once he is fine then someone also will come and do uat so this uat is someone also na he is customer right so what customer is doing this is called uat user acceptance testing what internal or internal developer internal testers will do that is internal testing quality check okay so here we have another question okay so here uat testing what is uat testing uat testing means user acceptance testing 
okay so who will be doing that customer will be doing that our client will be doing it what he will be testing whatever his requirement is he will be checking it where he will be testing he will be testing in test instance even these two okay so they will be testing in test instance okay is that clear till this point till this point clear ma please confirm yes sir okay so now here one more thing when we are testing it okay next one is once the uat is done okay uh, completing means production rollout we will move the update sets to so here when it is development development to test we will move okay once the uat or testing is completed then we will move the update set to production okay uh okay so now see hmm okay so now here we have one more question here the question is something like okay will you do any kind of you have any templates so, so testing testing is from developer side testing is okay we don't concentrate on testing but if you ask some testers who is a core tester okay they will be following some templates okay test case positive results negative results okay so what the template is meant for is it meant to capture the results okay you tested it okay you logged into the test instance you tested it but where is the proof you can't say like i tested after one year if i ask to show you there would be no person so they will be capturing in a form of a template it could be any template see here this is a simple template where they have some maybe the customer name and then the project name details who tested and all and then test case number 1 test test case okay for this one any is there any prereq in order to test this we need to log into the service now instance that is the prereq okay test steps test data expected results positive results negative results and if they want to attach some something maybe they can also take a screenshot so this is the manual testing and also this is the simple example of template who asked this question is that clear yes no please confirm ma quick yeah ha huh. now coming to the second thing okay what is so this is the answer will you use any kind of templates yes we have some templates which we capture uh, the testing in those templates but testers will be maintaining it okay you are a developer maybe you don't do develop you don't do testing Sir. there is another way okay so you are here manually testing it okay but is there a way from service now that you can execute the same kind of testing automatically okay service now have one application called okay atf automation testing framework okay you can enable this plugin okay and then you you need to define the test and you need to also define the results okay here you have test case and uh, uh, there are few things okay test case and then test suit okay you can test it and all right so the next question someone uh, had uh, someone got is related to this one okay are you using manual testing or you are using any uh, atf thing maybe for you just say no to this one or if you can uh, learn this atf basically then you can say yes we use atf if you want to say yes you need to learn and then say because here also some scripting will be there and you need to understand this one before you say yes better thing is you can say no is that clear ma is that answered this is what the question right yes hmm okay coming back to the discussion <coughs> okay any questions here till this point any questions from anyone no okay so coming back to the discussion no? so here development life cycle we completed so now the next terminology na no? in story we have something called release okay we follow release or sprint that means okay so see we will be maintaining some two weeks of time 
okay so that means we make all this one as release few people will call it as release or they may call it as print also it all depends on their usage and how they they configure or they are following this okay what does it means is i got a story okay so today i got the story by when i need to complete this process okay if i ask this question the customer will say tomorrow because he wants it as soon as possible right but if we ask this team leader they will say we have so much of work maybe you can take your time but when when we see this one when we see this statement you can take your own time means how long right so to avoid those customer expectations or to control our existing workload and all what we do is we maintain the releases or sprint methods that means let's say okay every friday every second friday you have a release that means release two weeks okay for each two weeks there would be one release okay now let's say what is the current friday ah so current okay so let's say 28th okay 28th is passed okay then next release is what 11th so next release is 11th february okay so 11th february is our next release so now the lead assigned you okay uh, five stories and maybe uh, he assigned 25 stories to all team members of seven people okay the expectation is all the stories will be aligned to the current release the release is this one so if you go to all these 25 stories okay this is your five stories and uh, total are 25 all these 25 stories will be attached to this release or sprint you can call either but follow one at least to understand easily so release so for 11th release we have 25 stories seven people are working so the expectation is we need to complete all these phases before friday on friday you move all these 25 story update sets to production and when you are moving Thank one you. story update sets you immediately close that so this way you organize your work okay if you don't organize the work in this way it is very difficult to control the customer as well as your internal uh, workload you can aram say complete these five stories and then get all these things done and then move to uh, move to production on the last day and then next release again two weeks plus 14 how much 25th february okay again he will come and say he will assign some two stories three stories then you will do so from a developer point of view okay you don't care how many stories how much business is coming okay you only need like you are getting stories you will work on them and you need to complete them in time okay let's say you are 10 years experienced person you are leading a team from for him he needs to manage the inflow of the requirement and outflow of the stories for him it is like more like managing okay so he needs to prioritize it if i have 50 stories okay for this coming two weeks what are the priorities he needs to prioritize and then assign it if he is you don't prioritize if he, he fail to prioritize then the customer will ans- customer will come and say i want this one why you are delaying so that is the next level but for you it's not required what is your requirement is like you don't create stories first okay and you will be getting the stories from someone it could be scrum master or a team lead then you will be following this uh, development life cycle and you will be making ready the stories for the last day of the release or a sprint then you will be moving it or someone maybe your senior people will be moving into production you don't move uh, pro- update sets to production because it is very sensitive they will review and send it they will move it okay if something goes wrong now they have to take care of it okay if you are two three five years maybe your job will end here okay this this one will be doing by some other senior people but as a responsibility of your job you will be complete you will you will be doing all these things as part of your day to day activities this is completely development but if it is admin sorry if it is admin then you may do some other stuff also adding users removing users adding roles okay report creation okay maybe if someone have some issue login issue then checking them checking the user profile this all this other stuff 
right now is that clear so we covered story we covered uh, the development cycle we covered uh, the uh, atf okay day to day activities now you can see what is your day to day activities these are your day to day activities okay nothing else you are a developer you do all this development work you are an admin you do all admin okay if you do both you do this part even this part you support both also see not only this one when as uh, as someone was telling here when we are forming a team when we are working a team we will be doing many things okay if like let's say i have five people okay for one release one will be the tester so for that release he will be doing only testing or something like this rotational and all so it would be like all your see in order to move these stories to production you can do anything or you will do all those activities okay sometimes you need to coordinate with customers also chase them for uats because you didn't give the uat sign off till uh, thursday friday is your release then you have to chase them you have to ping them okay they are available but they don't know how to log into service now or how to open the form how to check it so you need to con connect a call okay and then walk through the test cases or you need to test it and then they will monitor and then finally they will say yeah i am fine so all these things you will be doing as a team member are a part of team it won't be like you will be doing only specific thing it would be more activities also but these are your day to day activities is that clear who are all asked this question is that clear ma please confirm yeah fine so